Okay, Hebrew Image Site Part 2. Uh, let's talk a little bit about fonts. And we are going to uh, go to Google Fonts. And we're going to choose a font for our headline. By using uh, the Google Fonts, we get more control over exactly what typeface we're using. And we'll talk about that a little more when we look at the CSS. So I can close this. And so I'm going to uh, go to fontsgoogle.com and you can look at these at your leisure but there's about a thousand fonts available in various weights and styles etc that we can use uh, they're free and basically just we create links to them in our uh, HTML document so we don't really need to download anything we do need to get some code so I'm going to pick a font that I used in the headline for the the hero image site and for now I want you to use exactly the same font so that as you build your page they all end up looking alike in the future we'll be doing some things where you can pick your own fonts but for now let's just do this to keep it simple the font we want is called Carter so if I start typing that Carter it's actually Carter 1 looks like it's designed by Vernon Adams and we would like to use this font. So once I've got it selected, I click the little plus sign here and I get family selected showing up down here. I open that up and there's some information here. And I want to save this and I'm going to, to put it into my HTML document in a minute. Uh, what I suggest you do, because as sites get more complicated, we're using more fonts and things we want kind of to collect our font information in one place. So I'm going to, to put this information into a text document. Uh, so to do that, I'm going to uh, go to my desktop finder, whatever, and I'm going to open a, uh, an application called Text Edit. So scroll down to your, in your applications. Every Mac comes with Text Edit. If you're on a PC, there's an, something called Notebook, which does the same thing. But I want to open that application. And I'm going to make a new document, and there it is. And so I can close that. I'm going to copy this information over here, and so just highlight it and copy it, and go back to my text document and paste it. Uh, for unknown reasons, it comes in to text edit with a black background. So what I need to do is select my type again and go to this little black box here and select none. I don't know why it does that, but it does. All right. uh, I also need this uh, specifying CSS text. So I'm going to highlight that. Again, edit, copy, or command C, and go up here and paste it. Uh, same thing happens again, so I need to select it and turn that off. That may be from the gray background here, who knows. Right. So I'm going to save this, and let me give it some information up here just so I remember what it is. So I'm going to call it Hero Site Google Fonts. And I'm going to save this text document into my hero folder that I created last time around. So I'm going to save and find my hero site. Mine's on my desktop. So there it is, hero site. Right now I've just got the images folder in there with the cherry cropped. So I want to save it into the folder. So make sure and let's call it hero fonts save. So that's just a, a text document. We're going to use that information when we get to the HTML to copy and paste this into uh, our document. In the future when we when we add more fonts and things this, this document will have more information in it and it will make more sense why we're doing this. But we're through with that for now so we're going to close it. And close this down. So uh, again, at your leisure, look through this and uh, 
start to get a feel for what what fonts you look interesting, what things you might want to use. These can be used for headlines, they can be used for text, um, and some of them come with, with multiple weights and styles, like your new cycle has two styles, this has three styles, uh, Volkhorn, Volkhorn, yeah, has eight styles, Prompt has 18 styles, and we will do a demo later showing how we can use some of these various styles. But for now, that's that's the step we want to do with this part two. So we've got our headline font ready to go, and in part three, we'll start uh, building the site uh, and brackets.